this is Jeffrey Towson, uh, Peking University in Beijing. I'm here today with Pedro Aydar, who is head of craft and specialty beers at AB InBev for Asia Pacific North. What's the most important thing going on in beer in China today? The beginning of year 2000, the Chinese market was probably the one growing the most around the world. And a lot, of, a, a lot of the large brewers today, their motto at that moment was, let's grow as much as we can, either organically or via acquisitions, but let's grab territory. However, in the last four years, the market hasn't been growing. And now if you want to deliver revenue and, and, and profit growth, it should be in terms of uh, trade up, premiumization and efficiencies. And the large players are not prepared for that. So right now there's a lot of struggle in the market, in the larger players. How do you adjust your situation that the volume in units is not growing. What's the biggest difference in beer in China versus the rest of the world? I'll, I'll give you the one minute version tonight and happy to elaborate on that later. I think that uh, a couple of things, there is a disproportional love for beer in China. There is no shame or there is no, no concern about alcohol. It's a, uh, it's, it's a people that really enjoy having beer, as in having my joke. It's actually lighter beer that we drink in China. Around the world, probably we're talking about 5% alcohol beer in China is between 2 and 3%, mostly lager beer. And extremely, and this is very peculiar, extremely concentrated in meal occasions. So more than 60% of consumption, either during lunch or dinner, but at collective meal occasions. I think that is what's most peculiar about China. What is everyone getting wrong about beer or AB InBev uh, in China? What's the biggest misconception? Well, I wouldn't say like misconception. What has, a, has been a privilege to a, or a, a, an advantage to AB InBev when the others, other players are really focusing on growing and grabbing territory? We were concerned about growing, but at the same time balancing growth and sustainability. So although today you are still the number three in, in volume or revenue, we're already the number one in profit. We develop a, a balance of profitability, uh, efficiencies, uh, a portfolio spanning from value offerings to premium offerings that allow us to compete in this moment that the market in itself is not growing, but you actually have premium beers growing a lot, compressing the size of core and value propositions. So I, would, I wouldn't say a misconception, but what was a Probably a, a, a inaccurate reading from competitors is just go after growth at any cost. And I'll be caught in a moment that between the four larger players already most of the market, there is very limited, very no, no more smaller players or regions where we are not competing. So now it's really about how do you grow via new offerings, premiumization and efficiencies. That is probably the one thing that AB InBev did different than the others. And that put us ahead in a, in a leadership position. Uh, what's next? Looking two to three years down the road, either beer in China or AB and Bev in China, what do you think, what do you see coming? Well, that's exactly what I'm working in China today in craft and specialties, is what are the next boundaries in beer? In China, still 90% of beer consuming is lager beer. And beer is actually an extremely rich world with many different liquids, many different propositions. So how do you create new boundaries of consumption, bringing to consumers different occasions to enjoy a great beer that is not just an amazing lager refreshing, but different beers for food pairing, for enjoying instead of a cognac. You do have 20% alcohol beers that you can enjoy in an amazing way. So the future of beer in China is how you go beyond lager, create new occasions and delight consumers in new manners. What is your favorite book, beer or beach? Answer one, two, three, whatever you want. Well, I'll put like this. The only favorite of the only exclusive thing I have in my life is my wife. Okay. But other than that, I'll tell you the nicest book or the best book I've read recently is a kind of older like, but is uh, by, by Henry Kissinger on China that has taught me a lot about China. Hmm. Uh, well, beer, there is an extra payo ale that we own called Boxing Cat Contender that is fantastic. I love Boxing Cat. <laughs> It's an amazing, Boxing Cat is an amazing extra payo ale. And Beach, well, I'm just coming back from India, I'll tell you, Goa is probably, if there is paradise on earth, it is in Goa. Goa, okay. Thank you very much. Jeff, thank you for having me here.